Well, the Tarpon Springs community and dozens of kids are trying to heal after losing a beloved after-school program mentor. 26-year-old Lulani Ortiz was killed in a motorcycle accident. And in a story you'll only see on ABC Action News, reporter Kara Mashik shows us how the young lives she impacted are now working to keep her memory alive. Miss Lowe was one of the most loving, thoughtful, and warm-hearted people I have ever met. At only 11 years old, John Weisner already knows the powerful impact of having someone who's a positive influence in your life. She was one of the best people I've ever met. I miss her. Weisner is one of the dozens of students in the past six years. Youth specialist Leilani Ortiz mentored at the Cops and Kids After School Program, where the kids called her Miss Lowe. She changed my life by telling me that whenever I thought that I couldn't do it, she helped me know that I could do it. Ortiz died less than two weeks ago in a motorcycle accident on the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Before her story fades from the headlines, the many young people she touched are determined to keep her memory alive. We think that she needs to have something that is really good because she was a very special person. Weisner and his mom came up with the idea to build a gazebo in this area beside cops and kids in Tarpon Springs because Ortiz loved to garden and spend time outdoors. She was that big of an impact to cops and kids and the community. Um, if the children had anything that they wanted to talk about that they couldn't speak with their parents or any other, you know, member of cops and kids, they can go to Miss Lowe at any point in time. They envisioned the gazebo in a park-like setting that would be a place of comfort for anyone and for the kids here to know Miss Lowe is still watching over them. Thank you, Miss Lowe. Thank you for keeping me safe and thank you for being a part of my life and helping me. In Tarpon Springs, Karamashik, ABC Action News.